Hey everyone, this is Tayman2037, and I'm going to just give you a quick walkthrough of my DDR slash in the groove setup, and also to review the, the Ion Metal Arcade Dance Pad. Now, the DDR Dance Pad market isn't what it used to be. Uh, there aren't Blue Sharks anymore, there aren't uh, supposedly Cobalt, Cobalt Flux went under, or at least their domain expired and they haven't renewed it yet. It's not a little tired because I was just playing some DDR. But first, let's take a look at this uh, DDR Ion metal pad. Uh, it's kind of hard to find reviews on it. No really in-depth reviews, except one. So, kind of had this ground up information on it. Overall, reviews look pretty good, so I went ahead and got it off, uh, off eBay from an authorized reseller. Basically has a bar here, that's a big selling point. A lot of people say there aren't any good arcade metal pads at home with bars. But this one's actually pretty good. See, so you have the, the background stand right there. Kind of holds it in place. If you just go like this. I mean, it does wiggle back and forth a little, as you can see. But usually when you're playing, you're just leaning back all the way. You're not going back and forth if you're like me. So, I mean, it works out pretty well for me. Uh, arrows, you can see, they're all metal. Unlike other pads where it just kind of registers an impact, these buttons physically go down. You can see this, they go down, they're pretty sensitive, like that. Uh, a and B buttons aren't as sensitive, but those buttons really don't matter at all. Uh, X button, here we have a control box that just plugs right into the front there, and connects to USB, Xbox, but not Xbox 360, you need an adapter for that. Who plays the Xbox DDR games anyway? Uh, Wii slash GameCube, and then PS2 of course. Got PS2 connected to my standard definition TV. Standard definition is a little better because no lag there. Here are all my DDR games. Got all of them except for X2, but that's X2 on the PS2 is pretty hard to find nowadays. Uh, Max, Max 2 Extreme, In the Groove, Stream 2, Supernova, Supernova 2, and X. Basically, the main reason I wanted to get a pad at home was so I could play some arcade songs at home. Because, as you all know, uh, the DDR Supernova machine doesn't have any unlock code. So you can't play songs like uh, Fascination, Eternal Love Mix, Fascination Max, Chaos, Healing Division um, on normal mode. You can only play an extra stage or one more extra stage, which has certain restrictions which make it hard to pass. But here at home, I can play the songs whenever I want. Uh, normal settings or whatever settings I want. I was able to beat Chaos pretty easily. I uh, haven't tried Fascination Max and Fascination Regular, but I did beat those at a Supernova 2 arcade, Supernova 2 machine in Illinois. And uh, what else can I say about the pad? Uh, it doesn't really seem to slide much. I mean, pretty sturdy. I mean, it'll rotate like that, but when you're playing, it won't really rotate, so that's always a good thing. Uh, very sleek pad. Uh, I've only had it for a couple days, so I can't really uh, say how durable it is, but it is pretty sensitive. It worked. I mean, you wouldn't think with if the whole button has to physically go down, it'd be sensitive. But it's not like the it's not like the arrow has to go down much anyway. And I've never had any issues with it missing steps. It worked well with hands on in the groove. I played Dawn, which has a handful of hands. No pun intended. And I was able to hit all those just fine. And I got the pad for 200 plus 80 shipping off eBay, like I said. Uh, I could probably put the link in the description if you're interested. But overall, uh, assuming it's durable, like I said, other people who have had it for a couple of years said it's worked fine. Uh, you may need to adjust these little washers here, tighten those up occasionally. But that takes like all of two seconds. Uh, there are screws underneath the holes there from the bottom that keep the bar from going up and down. And like I said, it wobbles a little bit, but not an issue. So, don't buy from DDR Game, by the way. They kind of jack up their prices. Buy from authorized resellers. Make sure they're selling the exact same pad. There are issues with people selling fakes out there. Maybe that's why the Amazon pad got really bad reviews, is because it was being, be being sold by an imitator. So, yeah, 
I would definitely buy the pad. Uh, this, let me know if you have any more information. I'll probably get some videos and be playing soon. And so I'd say the home arcade pad market isn't dead with this pad, assuming it holds up. If it holds up with a couple of years with minimal maintenance, I'll be very happy. So if you want any more information, just uh, send me a comment or a question. I'll try to let you know everything I can. I think I cover things pretty thoroughly. But you really enjoyed watching me just move my camera back and forth from the pad to the TV while I talked. All right, so just uh, thanks for watching and hope that that's a little more information on the Ion Pro pad for you. I mean, not Ion Pro, but just Ion. See you later.